now today topic is variable in visual basic what is variable in visual basic and how to declare in visual basic variable now first of all what is variable variable are the memory location which are used to store value temporarily it means variable is a word or name which create memory location in the system for storing value temporarily in another definition variable is the identifier whose value changes during the execution of the program it means we can change the variable value during the execution of the program now each variable has a name and data type visual basic like other programming language use variable for storing value like c c++ now some common rule for declaring of the variable first is variable must begin with alphabet it means a variable name start with alphabet second only alphabet number and underscore is allowed it means we can use only alphabet number and underscore character does not use any symbol or character now third is the length of the variable name should not exist to 55 character if programmer do not declare variable and use directly in coding then default type of that variable is variant it means the programmer does not declare variable or directly use in coding then this default type of the variable is variant now the simple declaration of variable is use a dim statement it and dim stand for dimension dim statement used to declare variable by data types and name of the variable now simple syntax dim variable name and as a data type dim for di dimension variable name and as a data type now next variable declaration type it means the variable declare in two way explicit declaration and option explicit declaration in vb now first of all explicit declaration declaring a variable tell visual basic to reserve space in memory it is a not much that a variable should be declared before using it automatically whenever visual basic encounter a new variable it assign the default variable type and value this is called as implicit declaration it means the variable should be declared before using it whenever a visual basic encounter a new variable it access or assign the default variable type and variable so that it is called as implicit declaration now it is declare dim with a dim statement now syntax is dim variable name as a type for example give up the dim str str name as a string now dim is a stand for dimension str name is for variable name as a string string is a data type now second one is option explicit declaration if you use the option explicit statement must appear in a module before any procedure when option explicit appear in a module you must explicitly declare all variable by using dim private public redeem or static statement if you attempt to use an under undeclared variable name an error occur at a compile time it means error occur in compile time syntax is option explicit now if you don't you use the option explicit statement all undeclared variable are of variant type now next is scope of variable now scope of variable is a scope to procedure level or module level variable depending on how it is declared the scope of the variable procedure or object determine which part of the code in our application are aware of the variable existence existence now a variable is a declare is generally declare in general declaration section of e form and hence the available to all the procedure it means we can declare as you are needed it means as your requirement of variable declaration it means we can declare as a requirement of variable declaration first is local variable now what is a local variable a local variable is a one of the declare, declared inside a procedure this is a variable is only available to code inside the procedure and can be declared using the dim statement as given below local variable use dim declare 
with a dim statement with variable name and as a integer now simple syntax is dim sum as integer sum is a variable name as the integer is a data type for example we can give up the uh, first one command button like that and this uh, double click on the command button we can go to code code window now we can write this uh, code private sub command one click function dim x as integer x is equal to x plus one print x and sub now then output is c1 like that is a form give up the one command button now second is static variable the variable declared with the help of static is known as static variable static is variable are not reinitialized each when we be invoke or call a procedure that is return of reserve value even the when procedure end the life of the static variable persists during the function call static variable in the static variable give up the uh, example same as local variable this is same coding private sub command one click function dmx integer x is equal to x plus one print x and sub option but the static variable is output is different from local variable because the the static variable are not reinitialized so the output of the this program is one two three now next is module level variable now module level variable is available to all procedure in module they are categorized in two categories in private and public now first is private a keyword private is used to declare variable as a private a private variable can be declared in general declaration section and uh, it access the procedure within the same code model the work as same that those in dim statement next is public public variable is accessible to all module in application the life variable is written through put the application execution we can use public as a public section and we can use a private module for privately in our program thank you